Hello, all of you thrill seekers out there. Today, we're going to be going over all of the contest submissions in our Minecraft server here. So, long story short, the contest was basically where you had to build a roller coaster in our Minecraft server and uh, the best looking roller coaster wins. It can either be a roller coaster or a dark ride, doesn't really matter. Uh, because whichever one wins will be transformed into Planet Coaster. So what I'm going to do is near the end of this video, or maybe in the middle of this video, depending on how long this video goes on for, I'm going to take whichever coaster is the winner and then putting it into Planet Coaster, which is going to be fun. Anyways, let's uh, have a look. So we got some music on this plot. All right, so tonight we rise. We're going to be taking a look at the very first roller coaster here as built. Uh, you might recognize this coaster from the thumbnail of the original contest video where we announced what the contest is. Uh, I did have the uh, contest information posted in the Discord server before creating that video, just to let you guys know. All right, so uh, we're going to be giving this coaster here a ride. So what we're going to be doing is going up to the carts and pressing the button. Here we go. All right, so that's coaster number one. He did build a second coaster. Let's uh, have a look at this one. So we're gonna call this uh, Tonight We Rise Yellow and Tonight We Rise Blue or something like that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there's no names posted anywhere on this plot. All right, so that was definitely a bit more interesting, uh, a lot more fast paced. Uh, looking at these two rides, I can definitely see how I can implement these two coasters. For this one here, it's definitely more like a mouse coaster, obviously, because it has uh, these uh, 180 degree turns going back and forth over here, and it has this little dip, and it kind of comes around and doesn't really do much after these zigzags, I guess you could say. But this one here is a lot more winding a lot more use of like helixes. The thing is though, I'm very interested to see how this like converts because every block in Minecraft is like one meter in both height, length, and width. So, I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. All right, uh, let's go to our next mission if we can find it. So here we have a multiple rides by Ghostbuster. All right, okay, so we got three submissions it looks like everyone made multiple submissions for this contest for some reason i thought everyone would just be make like one big submission but we, we got like one big submission and we got like two smaller ones all right let's uh let's let's give these ones a look we'll we'll save the bigger one for last so let's take a look at this small coaster over here uh looking at this one here it feels a lot more like a powered mine train from the looks of it All right, so that was it for that one. Let's, uh, let's see that today, because, oh my god. Um, that got dark at the end. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to actually bring this to Planet Coaster, I don't think, but because I don't believe Planet Coaster has powered mine trains. I haven't played the game in a while. When was the last time I played Planet Coaster? Hold on. So, the last time I played Planet Coaster. Oh god. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> I played it back on June 18th. Well, it's been nearly two months. I haven't played Planet Coaster for nearly two months. That's... Ooh, okay, that's interesting. So over here we have a nice wooden coaster by uh, Ghostbuster. 
Where's the minecart? Ah, there you are. Okay. Let's give you a ride. And it even bounced me out. And I took a screenshot. Let me see a screenshot. Okay. So for our third and final submission from Ghostbuster, we have this very large looking building. It's, it has a dark right side of it. We actually looked over this uh, submission here on our uh, video announcing the uh, contest to our YouTube viewers. Everyone on Discord usually gets uh, told about contests uh, well before anybody here on the uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to be notified about any contests before anyone else does, be sure to join our Discord server as we announce them under the events notify All right, so let's uh, let's have a wander here. So we can go inside. Got a, a, a lava wall over here. It's a nice cute one. Got a glass paintball on here. Anyways, uh, carry on. So we're missing a minecart. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Let me just put it off. <laughs> it's actually a really cool ride. It's very dark for most of it, but whenever it does have like a special effect, it actually looks pretty cool. Damn. Okay, so that's the name of the ride. Damn. All right. Is that the first ride on this list that actually has a name? <laughs> so I just found this one. Um, this one here looks like it had potential, but it just didn't really go anywhere. Like, there was a lot of detail put into the key line here. And I mean, like, a lot, and it looks pretty good. Like, look at this. It just keeps going. Can, can we get an F in the comments for this? <laughs> Alright, next submission. So over here we have a submission by Morn9, and it's a, it's a small little wooden coaster here. Maybe even a hybrid, if you think about it. Nah, it's, it's, it's a woody. Would that be considered a splashdown? <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyways, so this is a small little wooden coaster by Morn9. Um, Let's, let's, let's give it a ride. So this submission here uses the different design I was talking about when it came to uh, wooden coaster supports. Uh, this one here uses the scaffold instead of fences. And it actually makes the supports look whole, I guess you could say. Like it doesn't look like it's being too little support for the uh, the track so if, if this was a fence the, the whole beam would just be in the center of the block but with it being a scaffold it's actually filling the entire block space yeah so this is the little wooden coaster by more nine Kali made this I, I i don't know this doesn't look like it's a finished project but we're still going to take a look at it let's, let's see what this is That was very 
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. You guys didn't see anything. That was extremely anticlimactic. Oh my god. Okay. So. <laughs> that. That did not go anywhere. Damn. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to a submission that really does look like it has potential. Look at this. From ACF really always likes to go, like, full out with these submissions. Like, he's won so many of our contests. Uh, because, like, <laughs> he, 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 he tries to go for things that are pretty much impossible to do in Minecraft. For example, right here, he tries to do a dive loop right here. But anyways, this will be counted as a dive loop, however, because that's what this is obviously going for. Uh, but yeah, let's let's give a look at this. So, we have a really nice looking station. Wow, alright, wait, is this named? Please be named. Oh, oh. Hold on. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing this. <sighs> okay. Anyways, uh, this ride, uh, we're gonna give it a. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, they're both. Uh, fast lane? Yeah, one of them's a fast lane. Okay. Oh, we actually got trash bins. Okay, cool. And we got some nice trees flowing around. This is actually a really nice queue line station building. Let's take a look at the station building at night. Look at that. Anyways, I, I think this has potential to be the winner uh, alongside with the uh, the dark drive. So the roller coaster here by From ACF is going to be the winner because it's very realistic actually, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted a very realistic uh, roller coaster as a submission for you guys. But anyways, off to Planet Coaster we go. All right, everyone. So we are now in Planet Coaster. What we're going to do is head on over to a sandbox map. Start a new one and get building on. Bring this ride into Planet Coast. This is going to be fun. So in between now and back when I recorded the Minecraft segment of this video, I took screenshots, measurements, and everything about that coaster in the uh, Minecraft server that from ACF built. And we're going to try to build it as accurately as possible. So... What I'm going to assume is the coaster type that's in use. Um, I'm going to assume that it's pretty much trying to mimic an SNS. I feel like that's what it's trying to do. So, unfortunately, there's no real true SNS coaster inside of Planet Coaster. The only one that really works for that, well, it is an SNS, but it's not um, exactly what you'd want <laughs> so as you can see this is an sns track that we can work with here but it's not quite the station type we want okay we're just gonna have to suck it up and use this because i can't find anything else
this is pretty much the coaster um, roughly completes as accurately to what Minecraft has to offer uh, as possible. Uh, it's not yet smooth though, as you can tell from all the jankiness from this one turn. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the rigid movements that um, I had to mimic from what the Minecraft build had. So, for example, uh, the sudden slope change for uh, going into the left tail of 45 degrees. Because if we take a look at the build, you can see that it's just going directly into that 45 degree left tail. So we wanted to mimic that as much as we can. In Minecraft, it's only a one meter <laughs> uh, length of change. Where in here, we uh, did four meters. So you can definitely, you can seriously imagine what a one meter version of this would be like. And then getting up to the top, we uh, mimic the height. So this is exactly at 33 meters. And then the drop itself is at 30 meters. And this is at 28 meters for the little dip. Uh, I'm getting the measurement meters from the fact that uh, one Minecraft block is one meter in both width, height, and length. So uh, that's where we're getting our uh, measurements from. So basically what I did in Minecraft is I stood at the very bottom got my coordinates, went to the very top of all the hills on the coaster, and uh, got all the measurements. So this is pretty much exactly what it's like in the game for all the measurements. Now, here's where the scaling kind of gets bit off, okay? So at the very end, you have all these airtime hills that comes by, like one after another. I had to remove two because the amount of space that we have here, um, it's most likely due to the fact that you can only really do four meter minimum in Planet Coaster. Where in Minecraft, you could do like a one meter uh, turn, right? But in this, you have to do a four meter turn. So that means that uh, whenever you have like these sudden rapid changes in movement, especially in like this turn, uh, you can't really emulate that here in Planet Coaster very well. So I had to remove two hills, but oh well, it will still get the point across. You can still get the two airtime pops at the very end before doing the splashdown. Now, of course, there's no scenery in here yet. This is just, you know, as you saw, just me building the layout first and getting the basic idea down. Anyways, so uh, you can tell that all the movements are going at 45 degrees. So whenever, like, other than the first job, because the first job in Minecraft, what he did was kind of like had the minecart itself fall so it was able to go beyond 45 degrees but for all the other movements you can see it's just going at 45 degree slopes for almost everything so we're mimicking the game as much as we can in planet coaster it's uh pretty difficult anyways let's uh get on to actually smoothing this whole thing out go to our POV mode. Let's give this a look. This is gonna be awful. I'm, I'm really worried. This is gonna be my genuine reaction first time seeing this in action here. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, not bad so far. Okay, that needs to be smoothed out a bit. I mean, no, it's smooth, but not really for slope. Okay, this is actually not too bad, that part there. That went a lot better than I initially thought of it. <laughs> it's flying through the track though, oh my god. Then you get that injector and going back up to the brakes. Now it's time to build the scenery. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Let's uh, start with the support beams.
Okay, flanges are done on these uh, beams. Uh, not all of them are kind of realistic looking because, I mean, this structure here is just really bizarre. I had a hard time trying to wrap my head on how to build this, but I kind of got it looking all right. I mean, it, it's not the best, but <laughs> it's the best I can do with how weird the structure is and how it looks in the, the game. Uh, anyway, so let's give this coaster a ride. A few things I do want to point out before we do get on the ride is that um, I did leave most of the coaster on smooth and a bit janky. Uh, the reason why is because we want to make sure we simulate the way it was like in Minecraft because that's the whole point of what we're doing here. It's just kind of like bringing the coaster from Minecraft to Planet Coaster, but keeping it as close as we can to what you see in Minecraft, but at the same time trying to make it a bit more real. So we came to like a perfect mix between kind of like some smooth curves, like especially with the turns, it's no longer just rigid 90 degree turns and 45 degree uh, slopes. Uh, but we did stuck with the whole idea of being on a grid. As you can see, everything is perfectly aligned, which is nice. And we also made sure that all of our slopes matches to 45 degrees exactly. Okay, that's why you can see there's slopes that just completely just flatten out at 45 degrees. And that's why you kind of see changes like this. <laughs> if I was actually building this, I would not build it like this for obvious reasons. But we want to make sure we hit that 45 degree slope. Um, so what, what I'll do is I'll create a second version of this. Uh, that's a bit more smooth though. So this is the one that's going to be very rigid. And yeah, so we'll make a second version that's more smooth though. Uh, so give you a rundown of the layout. Let's go. So from the start, we have our lift hill. All right. Actually, well, let me turn off the UI so we can get a bit more cinematic. Actually, you know, if you want to be cinematic about it. Here we go. So over here, we have our lift hill. All right, and then we go down 30 meter drop to the bottom as we head over to the dive loop. Then we get a little ejector hill, air time, and then we go into our figure eight that's right in the middle of our support structure. After that, we get another air time hill. Wow, amazing! And another, oh my god, and a small little ejector hill, and then the overbank. And after the overbank, we're heading straight into another airtime hill, and I spend and another airtime hill, and another airtime hill, and finally the splashdown! And yeah, that's it. Uh, two airtime hills were cut out from the ride, however, because I could not fit it with the scaling, because Minecraft is just. Everything's just one meter. Now that we have it smoothed out, let's do the smooth ride. Here we go.
All right, well, that was a fun challenge to do, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, as it was definitely fun to check out all of your coasters in the game and then uh, build the one that came out on top here in Planet Coaster. So once again, from ACF is the winner with his creation called Valguro. Right. Uh, with that being said, from ACF, you'll be contacted and you have 24 hours to reply to uh, select your prize and uh, make sure you join our Discord server to participate in our next contest. I mean, I tell you guys here on the YouTube channel whenever we have a contest. But if you're part of the Discord server, you get to be notified well beforehand at good uh, sometimes a week sometimes maybe a few days it, it kind of varies it depends on whenever i get time to make the actual contest video but whenever i have a contest in mind i want to announce it it goes straight to discord server first so make sure you check that out if you want to participate next time around and uh i believe that is all so i will see you guys in the next video contest or whatever we may do Thank you guys so much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this and become a channel member today to get exclusive perks and early access to my videos. Don't forget you can also join our discord server where you can participate in channel events and giveaways.